Take a break and join us. Gold Town, the Pahrump Nugget, and Lakeside Casinos. We identified at least two Precinct 9 voters who voted Precinct 5 ballots and one Precinct 11 voter who voted a Precinct 7 ballot. They were just given the wrong ballot styles, but it wouldn't have made any difference in any results. Also, we had two same-day registration provisional voters who didn't show valid identification. Um, They couldn't get into DMV, so we had to reject those ballots. And for a total, we had 99 individuals who returned their ballots either without signatures or with mismatched signatures, such as somebody else in the family signed their ballot or we just couldn't match the signature. But in the end, we re- cured most of them. So we, in the end, we only rejected 24 ballots without signatures. Um, and you sent them 20- letters. Right, right. And they all cured or, or sent us information back. And, and to be honest, a, a few of these were the husband signed the wife's, the wife signed the husband. And in general, we probably would have counted those anyway because we just, the same household, same information. The signature was just on the husband's, the, you know, that kind of mismatch. Oh. So we were able to verify signatures in that manner. But that actually He signed happened. hers, she signed his. Yes. Yes. Got it. So, you know, we we would have accepted those anyway, but we did send them letters. Um, yeah, so in the end, 24 ballots were rejected. And we had a couple of people who wrote us little nasty letters saying it was all a scam. They weren't about to sign. It was actually a pretty decent turnout for a primary. And quite a few people showed up in person June 9th to drop off their ballots in person at the clerk's office. Under the COVID um, regulations, we the lines at the polling place, we had no idea how many people would show up to turn their ballots in in person. I mean, everybody was sent a ballot, so we, we really had no idea to expect 500 people or 10 people. And unfortunately, we would only accept one person at a time in the office or a couple if they were together, which did slow things down a little bit. And yes, I had some pretty robust conversations with some people out in the hall <laughs> complaining about the mail-in. And um, yes, and I understand everybody's frustration. And absolutely, no matter what's going on in November, we plan to have the polls open. So we're ready in November, no matter what it takes. We'll, we'll do what we have to do to have in-person polling.